Well, we moved into a new tow shop and I got an employee come in here. He said he's bringing it. I was like, man, I, I'm not hiring. He was knocking on my door and he's like, I even got my own tow truck. And I was like, well, that sounds like a pretty good deal. But there he is. He's pulling in. Oh my goodness. I thought you said you got a tow truck. What that? What is this, man? This is my tow truck. Here, check this out. Okay. Oh, you even so, got you know, a storage. You got your own hook that you can hook on there. Nice. Yeah, for sure, man. Straps and down. Oh, this is hilarious, man. Why did I have to bring this? You clearly have a lot of tow trucks. Well, you you offered, man. I wasn't even hiring. You kept pestering me. But uh, yeah, man, I'll give you the job. This will work good for our little little tow jobs for sure. Yeah, I can tow a bicycle. Yep, bicycle and moped, but they'll squeeze you in tight spots. We always got problems there. Oh, for sure, man. For sure. Okay, park this thing, man. Uh, Actually, for our first job, we might... No, I don't think we'll use it. Does it have a winch? No, no, it doesn't have a winch. We can put one on it. Yeah, it looks but... like you can right there. But okay, park her up, man. I'll, I'll get you in the truck here. Don't be hitting my garage doors, man. We're good. We're good. Okay, here you go. You're going to jump in the Chevy 5500. It's got the Duramax in it, automatic transmission. Ooh, this is a lot nicer. Heck yeah. Put put on the strobes. There you go. Ooh, I like it. And headlights. Okay. Oh, yeah. Follow works. me. I'm going to jump in the Kenworth and we're going to go get a, uh, we got to go repo a four wheeler. Okay. Ooh. So this that should guy, be pretty easy. yeah, this guy's been hiding from me. I finally figured out where he's storing this four wheeler. So follow me guys. And then we have a crazy one after this, but we'll do the easy one first. You know, I probably don't need to bring my Kenworth W900 wrecker on this job, but Hey, any excuse I can pull this thing out. I'm gonna, Hopefully I'm going the right way here. All right, Garrett, look alive. It's at the bowling alley. He's been hiding it in some storage thing. And I drove by to work today and it was out and about. So it's somewhere in this alley here. Okay. Ooh, I've never been to this place. Here, stop right there. Hold up right there. I'm going to scoop the loop here. I might park up, but oh, yep. I got it. Okay. What well, we're good. All right. Pull up to me, man. Okay. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. All right. Whip it around. Get your start unfolding that bed. It's back here. Oh, gosh, I thought that was the owner coming to get it. We got to be somewhat quiet, though, and quick. Oh, I'm going over the bushes. He's got it parked right here. Uh, Yeah, it looks like we're going to just, yep, start unfolding, man. There we go. Keep coming. Okay, you stop there, though. Hit the trees. Stop right there. We can winch it. All right, guys, we got the winch hooked up here. That's all we could do. All right, we're starting to winch here. Yeah, Garrett, just turn the wheels. Unfortunately, it's, it's like, locked up. He has, like, a park weird park brake thing. Here we go. There we're we winching. Go. All right, I'm going to fast winch. We got to hurry this up. There we go. Oh, it's getting bad low. idea. It'll go on. It'll go on. All right, Garrett, that's good enough, man. I think I heard him. Start. Somebody's yelling. Here, let's push it. Let's push it. Yep, just push it over. There we go. Nice. Strap it down. There we okay, go. Okay, I'm bringing good this strap in. There. Yep. Disconnect the hose. Oh, yep. We got the winch disconnected. Bring her in. There we go. Nice and smooth. Man, you're pretty good at this. Already working the controls. We're hitting some branches there, but that's okay. That's all good. There we go. All right, big cat. Enough horsing around. Let's kick the tires and light the fires. All right, I'm right behind you. Here we go. I think he's, uh, I heard somebody yell at the front door or something like, hey, they're towing your ATV. But, oh, I think that's the guy in the parking lot right there. Come on, Garrett, go, go, go. I think, yeah, hang on right. All right, Garrett, uh, okay, yep, there's the shop there. So what we need to do or what we usually do is once we get something, we repo it or we tow something, we try and get it inside. Oh, took, oh, this is kind of worse big. But one time, Garrett, we had a customer and he came, busted down our doors, and took back what we towed. But anyway, we had to call the cops at that point. But always try and be careful. Sign up. I did not sign up for, like, customers coming in, like, getting mad at us. Yeah, you did, man. I It was in the job description. Oh, okay. I must have just skipped that page. Oh, that's right. All right. We'll get it in the or whatever door you can open up. There we go. Yep. One strap it. I don't think the guy's chasing us. And then... This, this is a really easy job. The hardest job probably all week we're going to have is today. And I waited to do it until you came because it's it's a boat that got beached. Oh, okay. I didn't know where we do boats here. Yeah, it, it's a towing recovery service, repo, and a few other things that we do. But yeah. All, all right. Well, I'll be following your lead on that one. Now, I guess we shouldn't take this truck there. Let's take the Peterbilt flatbed. It's a bit bigger. And then what are you going to be driving? I think I'm going to take the out? Kenworth again. And then, so the goal is, Garrett, we're, I'll show you once we get there, but try and get the boat on this flatbed at the end of the day. Okay. Hopefully we don't scratch it up too much. Yeah, it's, it's already scratched up. It's more, we got to worry about getting it out of the river than making it look pretty. Well, let's get this job done then. Let's do it. Garrett, we're in the bushes now. Sometimes on these jobs, you got to do what you got to do. 
Yeah, why are we in the bushes? We're in the bushes because, like I said, this is a this is a hard job to get to. And and anyway, it's beached on the river. The guy took it down the river when it was low tide and low just water level, and hit a bunch of rocks, sank it, and then somehow he got it onto the onto the side here. So, so we're doing all this the first day. How many people do you have that quit the first day? A lot, a lot. A lot? And so when okay. you said you had your own tow truck, I was like, dang man, you're the one for the job. So. Mm-hmm. I kind of regret that now, but I, I mean, I love this job. Yep. No worries. Uh, we'll, don't worry. We'll pay you. Here is, here's the boat. If you want to worry about positioning later, let's just see, see what's see going what on here. With. Yeah. What's going on? Is this a Mastercraft? Yeah. It is. Super nice boat. N nice boat. It was a super, it, he was like a millionaire or a billionaire. And he said, he got a new boat, put it in the river and hit a rock, I guess. So is this a two stroke, a four stroke? What is this thing? I, man, I ain't no boat guy, but I know this is expensive. <laughs> it, it looks expensive. All right. First plan is we're going to get a winch possibly attached to like this, whatever you call this little rack thing. And then I think people like wake surf off this or whatever. And then we'll just pull it up and get it out of here. Okay. That sounds good. So what we'll use your truck to kind of pull it and then we'll put it on my bed. I think so. Just in case uh, your truck was too light and started sliding. Yeah, yeah for sure. You have the supports, right? Yep. So. Go ahead. Just move a bit. Let me get in position and then we'll get it yep. up just on the grass here. There we go. Super cool, guys. Let me open up this. I'll show you all the compartments of the Kenworth walking through the tow truck. Now we're sliding out the supports. So those are going down. Heck yeah, that is awesome. And by the way, huge shout out to Exley for making, Exley Modding for making these mods and like scripting it and everything. Like these tow trucks are amazing. Garrett eventually or I are going to make a tutorial on how to use them all, walk through it for PC. So if you guys are interested in that, be on the lookout. So these compartments open up. And you can actually strap things in here. So you like, look, you can put like your tow hooks in here so you never lose it. Then you can strap down like your tow bar here. All right, well, let's get to work. Yep. We're going to raise the boom up, try and get it as the, the boat isn't super heavy. So we might as well use the boom as much as we can. And the higher we lift it, the better. Yeah, we don't want it to dig in the ground too much more. All right, Garrett, here's the moment of truth. So we got the winch hooked up or the cable hooked up and we are going to start winching i'm only using one right now should be totally fine i mean the boat's a boat but it's not a big boat you ready i'm ready all right clear prop we're pulling no well we had a little bit of a struggle but that's that's what you get for having a new hire you know you gotta you gotta teach them go through experience but we ended up switching out the kenworth for the peterbilt and actually i think this is gonna work good because we're gonna winch it right on to the flatbed isn't that right garrett you ready man I'm ready, but did you just blame that on me? Yep, pretty much. No, it was actually my fault. I just thought that would be funny to say. Uh, it, it, it was both of us. That's it's what I pay good. you for, right? All right. You ready? Yep, let's well, ready. Let's winch. Here we go. Go, go, go. It's moving. I, everything looks good, Garrett. Should I fast winch? Ah, uh, yeah, it's going a little sideways. Oh, it is. And I don't got a steering right. wheel. Wow, it's going really sideways. Hopefully it straightens out here. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. That's not a good look. Um what if yeah maybe you can move oh yeah this isn't i guess i can like here here what if i hop in the truck and i crank these wheels what if i hop so in the boat and turn the prop all right man i turned the prop as much as i could but oh no this isn't looking good okay what what here let, let's reposition a little i'm gonna give you some slack yeah give me some slack and then oh i wish i had brakes and oh there you go yeah you're doing all the work man there we go you're teaching me well here we are okay let's you're try this pro out. yep there we go. I have the flatbed controls here, too, if you ever need me to adjust. Okay, perfect. Yeah, she, I think it's going. She's going sideways again. Dang it. But as long as we... Oh, she dipped. Uh-oh. That can't be good for the bottom. You're, you're about fired, man. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I keep messing with it. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe release again. And There you yep. go. He's already doing it. It should be released. Uh-oh, I think we're stuck. Yeah, we're hung up. Here, release it. I might... Uh, Okay, so what if I just bring this at like a crazy angle? Yeah, bring that and that way when it goes off to the side, our flatbed will be there. I think you're good okay. to winch and then you can move okay. from there. Yeah, I'll tell you good. Here we go. We're fast winching this Hopefully one. Hopefully you didn't go too far over. I think we're good. Oh, it went over the other side. Oh, it's about to. Oh, oh. What if what if we just bring it up like this? I got straps right here, man. Okay, let's strap it Throw down. Throw it down. Okay, and then I'll just bring this thing in. Yep, go ahead, man. Okay, oh, God, that's just, awesome. Just, I just want to mention, Exley did not expect people to be using boats with this. So just keep that in mind. If you use a car, you can have a smoother experience. Yeah, for sure. But we got to do what we got to do, man. We This is our business. 
Uh, the mask graph is hanging sideways, but as long as we can strap it down and we'll put the lights on. There we go. We adjusted a bit better, but what's so nice about this Peterbilt? It has straps galore. So we were able to strap it down a bunch, make sure it's secure. So if you guys see us going down the road, don't be, don't be afraid. We got it strapped yeah. down. Yeah, guys, and big shout out again for this tow truck because I've never seen this many straps and this is exactly what we need. Heck yeah. We're going to have a lot more towing videos in the future because we have so many awesome mods and stuff. And there's always accidents on the interstate, like snow, uh, a bunch of snow accidents where there's big traffic jams and stuff. So we come in with the wreckers and rescue all the, well, some it's like semi truck drivers that slid out and stuff. So that's our job. And then, of course, we always do repos as well. So, Garrett. Man, just don't scratch. You could scratch the boat up, but not the truck. Yeah, for sure. I, I think we already scratched the boat up, so yeah. check off that box. For sure. But we're going to head back to the shop, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, smash like button like always. Subscribe as well. And let me know what you guys want to see next. I think, uh, I think we got some pretty crazy jobs coming up from the bank for repos and stuff. So that'll be exciting. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.